All right, folks, welcome back. I'm here to do another video um, about periodic trends, but uh, in this one, I'm also trying to tie in isoelectronic species, which is helpful in uh, determining periodic trends and things like that. So, especially when it comes to atomic size and atomic radar. So, we need to address this isoelectronic uh, right off the bat. Well, what does isoelectronic mean? All that isoelectronic means is that uh, two different uh, species could have identical electron configurations. Um, and this is, this is possible because we know that metals want to lose their electrons and non-metals we know they want to gain electrons. And when they do this gaining and losing of electrons, what they're doing is they're trying to achieve the most stable electron configuration that they can and when they do this they uh, take on new forms of I guess that's probably a, a decent way to say it new forms of um, uh, electron configurations so and usually they try to take that to the form of a noble gas so not all but most do uh, so let's just go ahead and uh, start simple just by saying, okay, isoelectronic, in order to be isoelectronic, all that the species have to do is have the same number of electrons. If you stick with that, then this problem is not that bad. So we're going to try to determine, <laughs> sorry, we're going to try to determine the number of electrons they have uh, in all. So let's start with this first uh, species that's being compared. Here we have to compare Cl negative 1, that's a chloride ion, and a sulfur uh, atom. So let's look at these. Well, first thing that we need is we need a periodic table, and I don't have a periodic table open, so let me let me grab the one that I was editing in uh, one of the other videos. Alright, um, let's look at this one. Uh, this is my old periodic table. I just needed one quickly, and this is the one that I grabbed. So. Uh, no other reason than that. Alright, well chlorine, if you look at chlorine, uh, notice that chlorine has an atomic number of 17. Well, if chlorine is neutral, it also has 17 electrons. So, we know that Cl, uh, right here, we know that Cl negative 1, right off the bat, has 17 electrons. Just the Cl part of it, just chlorine itself, has 17. Now you see this negative 1 right here, this negative sign? What that means is it's got one additional electron, giving it a total of 18, whoops, giving it a total of 18 electrons. Now what we need to do is we need to look up sulfur. We need to see if sulfur also has 18 electrons. So we're going to go back to our periodic table and look at sulfur. Sulfur, which is neutral in this case, has only 16 um, electrons. So, since these two do not have identical numbers for their total ele electrons, then they're not isoelectronic. So, these, these two are not. Not uh, iso to each other. They're not isoelectronic. Now, let's look at... Uh, Na plus 1 and K plus 1. Okay, well, Na plus 1, let's see what that is on the periodic table. Na, if it's neutral, has 11 protons. Okay, so we know to put 11 here. This plus 1 and determine the number of electrons actually tells us to subtract 1. So Na here only has 10 electrons. Now, potassium that has a K plus, if you look, Potassium itself has 19 protons, and it's also a plus one. So remember, you gotta lose an electron, become positively charged. So that gives you 18 electrons. So these two are not isoelectronic because they both do not have the same identical numbers. So this is not isoelectronic. Now let's look at Mn2, Mn plus two, and argon. Okay. Well, let's look up Mn. Uh, plus two. Well, let's just find Mn first on the periodic table. Mn is right here. It has 25 electrons if it's neutral. So we know we should have 25 here. Now, the plus two. Should I write plus two here or should I write minus two? I'll let you think about that for a second. Yeah, you're right. We should subtract two. Now, that gives you a total of 23 electrons. Now, argon. Notice that this argon 
is not showing a charge at all. So we go with its neutral counterpart. That's 18 electrons. Okay. So notice that this one has 18. This one has 23. They're not so electronic either. Okay. Now let's look at K plus and CL negative. Okay. K plus. Now we've already done K plus. It was over here somewhere. Yeah, right here. K plus was 19 if K was neutral. With the plus one, we subtract one. So that gives us 18 electrons. Now look at the Cl negative one. Okay. Now, we already done Cl. Cl uh, was 17 if it was neutral. With this minus one, that means we've got an additional electron, plus one. So that's 18. Hey, 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 whoa, whoops, sorry guys. Uh, Say, so, hey, 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 that's 18 and 18. Now these two, since they both have a total of 18, both of these are iso. They are isoelectronic. Cha-ching, okay. Now just for fun, let's go ahead and do these two. Okay, Zn plus two. Well, if you have Zn here, uh, plus two, Zn itself, just neutral, Zn has 30 electrons. But with plus two, you have to lose two electrons. So that gives you 28. Now let's look at Cu. Now Cu plus two, if you look at it, Cu is 29 if it's neutral. And the plus two means you need to lose two. So these two right here gives you 27. These are off by one. So this is also not isoelectronic. Okay. Now these two are. Now what that really means is if you looked at their electron configurations, uh, they would be identical. It'd be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, uh, 3s2, 3p6, and they would add up to 18. So that's 2, that's 4, that's 10, and that's 12, and that's 18. So isoelectronic means that the two species will have the same number of electrons which will allow them to have identical electron configurations. Now here's my question for you to see if you can figure this out. Between these two species, between, uh, let me move this out of the way, between the, uh, the K plus and the Cl negative, if we were talking about say uh, atomic uh, uh, radii or uh, ionic radii here. Whoops. Between uh, the ionic radii. Which one, K plus one or Cl negative one, which one would have the larger ionic radius okay which one which one have the largest ionic size which one will be larger okay well believe it or not even though they have the same number of electrons and they have the identical electron configuration the Cl negative would actually be larger now the reason why this Cl negative would be larger is this K plus here K itself normally has 19 protons okay and if you throw one of its electrons away that means that it's only going to have 18 electrons to whereas the CL here uh, will have normally 17 protons but if you add one to it you're gonna have 18 electrons it's like this here you have 19 protons uh, attracting 18 electrons. They have more of an attractive force which causes the, uh, the radius to shrink versus having more electrons than the number of protons you have which would allow the radius to expand. So that's why the Cl would be larger. The Cl negative would be larger according to uh, ionic radius or ionic size, that's why it would be larger. So guys, I hope that this was helpful. Uh, watch the other videos and I'll go over some more periodic trends and also mention uh, also electronic as well in those. Alright guys.